I got in my car and there was this guy next to me you know, and I was like, uh, good, 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 good morning. And he was like, good morning, sir. What are you, what are you doing? Uh, he said, I'm going to pump your gas for you. I was like, no, I got it. He said, no, I'm going to pump your gas for you. I, I was like, I, I don't got any, I don't got any money to get to you or anything. He's like, no, this is, this is my job. And I was like, I was like, really? You're like, what do you mean? I was like, I was like, what do you mean? Like, I was like, you're like, you're gonna pump my gas for me? And he's like, yeah, that's my job. I was like, that's. Like, I was like, really? I was like, I was like, you, I was like, you work. Like, I was like, I was like, you work at the gas station, like, like. And then I went inside to go give the money or whatever. And I was like, hey, does that guy really work here? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, you guys pump gas for you for your people here? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, I was like, fucking the organ is freaking cool. Yeah, that was that was all the way in Bend, also in Bend. I don't know if like it's like I do, I do. Yeah, it was like it's it's like nothing there. So of course I was scared. I was like I was like driving too far. You're so fucking sick, gosh. Yeah, I was like fuck. I was like four in the morning, and you're gonna do my gas for me. I was like I was like this guy just gas me. Yeah, like without context, it would be really creepy if he didn't sell. I can imagine that it would be like so creepy. Someone's just no, I'm I'm gonna do this, and you're like, I don't know. Being a missionary exposed me to like the real United States, like I. Because if you're from California, you don't think much of, of like, mm, you don't think about so much about, like, racism. There is racist, there is racist people, but not, like, to the point that, like, they won't sell something to you. Yeah, yeah, not, like, certain parts of Florida and some other states, yeah. And it happened to me in Idaho. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, a woman, like, she straight up said, like, she just said, oh, sorry, you can't, she says, oh, I'm sorry, honey, you can't get gas here. And I was like... Oh, what's wrong? It was like, and I was oblivious. I was like, why is it? I was like, there's no gas or something. And she was like, no, it's not that. And I was like, oh, can I put, a t- can I just put some gas in? And she's like, no, you can't get gas here. And then like some, wa- then some white guy walks in. He's like, hey, Tammy. Hey, you son of a bitch. Blah, 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 blah. He's like, I already know. Fill her up. And I was like, oh, okay. And I went back in the car and I just looked at myself. This is what racism is. Yeah. <laughs> like. Yeah, like, I never thought in my life that I would ever experience that. And I was like, damn, like, this is such a Wow. I mean, in hindsight, it makes you smarter. It makes you more um, compassionate. Yeah, and then it kind of shows you that, like, there's just some shitty-ass people in the world, like, that, <laughs> like, you know, there's even people in the world, like, that wouldn't mind purging. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's what's messed up. Yeah. No, that's, <laughs> like... That's, I'm, I'm all behind that. Personally, people, like, get out. Get them out. Would you, would you, like, honestly, would you approve of a day of a fridge day? <laughs> I don't know. I, I know, like, the term. I've never watched the purge or whatever that comes from. Oh, okay. It's just, it's just like a, it's like one day for 24 hours. There's no, there's nothing is, illegal, nothing is, illegal, nothing is illegal. You see that you had, say that you wanted to kill somebody, you would just wait till that day. Just they can get rid of the really racist child molesters. They can get rid yeah. They like, honestly like like I'll I'll say that. But then like yeah. I think there's, there's it's 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 always gonna be there's always some kind of conflict. It's gonna be like there, there was this person who really fucked me like in high school or something. Like like honestly like oh, okay I'm not gonna get this. Let's let's not let's not go there. But then like, yeah like I would see like a benefit in it, but also but as a society I think that would be really yeah, like we wouldn't be human. We wouldn't be humans anymore. We would be animals. <laughs> it would be. Yeah, I can't really imagine what that would be like in all actuality. Or honestly, knowing me, I probably wouldn't even know that the purge was happening, and I'd be like sitting at home just. You would know, because <laughs> like they they announce it like on TV. It's like it's like all over the like. I don't know it's TV. <laughs> Not, or if you're in like in the in that dimension. Like yeah, everybody prepares. Like they, you know, they get everyone. Usually, you'll start seeing everyone's house like get boarded up, and everyone's getting their guns ready and stuff like that. And that terrifying. Yeah, like for me, like for me, I'm just like honestly, I think I think if that happens, there's like I, I have three people in my mind that would that wouldn't mind killing me. <laughs> if, if they just take out all of the child molesters, all the rapists. I'm they can take them out. I I think it garbage out. I think they should just get like all like yeah like basically like all the worst people and then honestly I feel like I feel like all right this is why I think I think like I thought I had to stop like why don't we like take them 
and just put them on the island. Like, like not necessarily leave them there to die, but just like, get them away from, like, not obviously if they, they go to jail, they, they're they going to do their time unless they get killed in jail. But some of them actually, to be honest, a lot of rapists are just in general population because guys are, guys, they rape each other. Guys who rape other guys. And uh, my, my, my cousin's husband, he's a correctional officer. Wow, well, yeah. And he says what, or he says like when he sees that, like, you, they, don't, they don't say nothing because well, that's kind of weird. Like, first off, like, what are you going to do? You're going to stop. You know what I mean? Unless, yeah, they, like, um, and to be honest, it's great. Like, if it's, um, say if it's a trustee, so they have these things called trustees. Basically, like, they're the ones who are in charge of that, that, like, dorm or that, that level of, basically, like, they're prisoners, but they have high, they have, they have like, good report. I'm pretty uh, legit. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, yeah, so they're, they're like, they, they could rape somebody if they wanted to, and the cops would be like, whatever, that's you, because, like, whatever he did. I didn't think of it. I used to think that like, it was more like neglect, but when I think about it now, that my cousin, like, how my cousin explained it, he said that's how prison is because they make their own rules. And we, he's like, you think about it, we're just following their rules. Because, uh, like, we never told anybody that white people have to sit here and black people have to sit here. They did. If it was up to us, we don't care. As long as you guys aren't killing each other, it's, we don't care. At the end of the day, it's just a job. But that's a, that's a crazy ass job. Yeah. And, God, that's awful, though. That's awful. That can just go under the radar, though. Okay, so this is another red pill. This is another red pill example of why people, uh, why in a lot of us men are, are like, red-pilled. That's what we call it. So let's say you and me, right? So let's say you and me were we were a couple, and you're my you're my girlfriend, I'm your boyfriend. Say like we we robbed the bank, right? Mm-hmm. And we got caught. You would probably get two years of prison, and then I was get like twenty. Yeah. 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 So oh yeah. So like you know, it's there's some there's always something like so that's kind of like a petty reason to be a red pill, but it's more of the we're not against feminism, but we're again we're against the. What's how how, how I forgot how to say it? The we're against the feminine like oh my goodness I can't put it into words like when you, we're against like making feminism a norm. Does that make sense? I think that since I'm a social science major, I think that I have a very different definition of what feminism is. Like because in social sciences. We consider feminism to be gender equality or equity, rather. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's where I stand, is that equity? Because I I have a social science background, so I'm very classically... Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's... The red pill, we... I think we're more like... It's not that we don't see... We see ourselves as... We we think that the husband... Or or men... Not that they're necessarily above women... But then, like, in a relationship, that the man has to be the leader. Like, a woman can't be a, the leader. Or she can't be equal to a leader. <laughs> I, don't know, like... I don't personally agree with that. If someone yeah. comes to that, like, in a relationship, then... But it's just more like submissiveness. Because if, if a, like, honestly, if a woman was not submissive to me, then I would definitely not marry her. She, like, she would... Uh, yeah, it's either that... You see that I'm not doing a good job at making her submissive, or she's just she's just not into the she's a like straight up fem or she's like you know she's a fem, feminist or she yeah she's a feminist. So, so I did break up with me for not being submissive enough one time, and that's a whole story though. He yeah, not a good dude though. Well, he, that guy was definitely a red pill. But yeah, there's so much um like jargon or whatever because um. Yeah. The the only reason why we want to be we want our women to be like we don't do it just because like we think oh we're so macho we need to be the man it's no, more of it's more of like if if you can take control of us then you then you're eventually gonna think less of us and you're gonna think we're not a man we're, we're like basically like you can like we're gonna look like little bitches and then you what and then women will lose attraction because women women who are um straight and they look at their man like as as um someone who's supposed to, who's supposed to be like this like the, the rock, and if I don't think that's true for a lot of women. Yeah. I don't. True. Yeah, I really don't. I like that thought. I kind of like that because I I think that I, I think everybody should be their own rock. 
but then everyone should be their own rock. But then as well as I think this comes from my, my, my Christian background. Yeah. That's, that's why I'm, I always have to say bias. I have to say that I'm biased towards the, I would say that the man would have to be the head of the family. Like, and I have to be growing up with that. And yeah, I think that that's often where that like idea comes from for sure. Yeah. No, but even in like the evolutionary days, like when you think of the hunter gatherer day, women would only want to have like sex or like they would only want the offspring of an alpha male. Like, they wouldn't want to like, you know, get their, like, basically they don't want to get pregnant by like some whim. Basically. See, like it's, it's interesting for me because my feminism, I don't even always necessarily like call it that though i do strongly say and mean that i'm a feminist um i very much so believe in equity in general so just like with the prison example i that that's a big problem that that men would get treated worse and that system is a big problem and to me that is an issue and that is feminist to say that men shouldn't be treated so poorly in that situation Mm, yeah and it's like the same thing with like domestic violence like like, yeah like they have to take somebody in i think that's the law that like the law is like they're like somebody has to go like one one parent has to go and as a man like you want you you don't like as a man i wouldn't let my wife go to jail you know what i mean so i would have to i would have to go because I'm not going to let my wife... My... They're also so biased against men a lot of the time. Well, because I would say maybe for it, just to be honest, I don't know the statistics, but I would say that men are more abusive. You know, yeah, I, I don't... I can't just say that because I don't know... This, I, don't, I, I don't know. It's underreported when a woman is abusive. Put it that way. So it's not really... Like, it's not something a guy can say. Like, he's going to call the cops and say, oh, my girlfriend beat me up. Like, what's the point? <laughs> like you know like well there must be a lot of fear there just because you never know if the person on the other end is gonna not believe you yeah because it, it sounds silly you know yeah. it, it sounds kind of like a prank call like my to me up. but but there's so much social bias yeah it's hard because i think it's, it's honestly it, it's just we have a true we have a very bad we have a like a really bad image thing because like just like say I, I hook up with ten girls, I'm a, I'm an alpha male. I'm a all the girls want me. A uh, woman hooks up with ten guys, she's a slut. You know what I mean? Like you get what I'm saying? Like there's like, you get what I mean? Yeah. Like I honestly, I stopped thinking that. I used to think if a girl like hooks up with a lot of guys, she's a slut. I stopped thinking that way because I'm like, no, nah, she's not a slut. She just thinks she just she thinks like a guy. Yeah, I'm over here just ah, oh, they're cool. They can do whatever they want. <laughs> like yeah, no, seriously. Yeah, I mean like. I'm, I'm like, dude, have you ever, like, taken into consideration that she just likes sex? I, I think most of the people who get butthurt about that are just, like, blue pills. They're, like, or they're, like, blue pill guys who are, fem- like, you know, more in touch with their feminine side. So, what ha- so it used to be that, like, the woman stays at home and she's the housekeeper or the homemaker. And what does that mean if you have sons? That, like, your sons are only going to know the world. Like how you're, so your mom's going to teach you how to teach or your mom's going to teach you how to treat women. But then in in reality, women don't want to be treated that way. You know how like in movies, like, like they're so corny, like all the guys would be like like flowers (laughs) and then throwing rocks at her window. Like hell no. Like if I, if I know some girls that would fucking, that would fucking call the cops on me. It's like, I like, it's like, I threw a freaking like. If someone was like, at the bottom of my window, I would be so fucking scared. <laughs> I got to have poppy flowers though. That has happened. That was sweet. You know, no, that's okay. Like, like, yeah, that's okay. But I mean, like, like in movies, they portray like men to be like these, if you think about it. Yeah. Like, that's like, great. Like, if you think about it, just think about it. Like, think about all, like, I can't, I can't think of a movie right now, but just think about what, like, what they do to men, like, in the movies. It's like, if a guy really did that in real life, that woman would be like, get that motherfucker away from me, restraining order. And- yeah. <laughs> persist, 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 persist. And it's like, no, like, literally don't come to my house. Okay. So when they say no means no. Yes. But, Okay. I don't know, because I've had some girls say that before, that no means no, but then five minutes later, there will be, there will be the ones on me. And I'm like, 
So what the fuck? What do you mean no means no? <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. that's a very confusing situation to be in. I, I consented to the drug test. I was like, yeah, I consent to the drug test, but I don't consent. Yeah. I don't consent to having my, my I don't want you guys to know my medical. I don't, I, I don't even know what's in my medical record. Why should you know? <laughs> I, I bet that they have written some weird stuff in mine. Like, I bet that they're like, I, I don't even want to know what my therapist knows throughout the years. Yeah. You probably don't want to know how many notebooks I had to buy over the years working with you. Just joking. Thank you all for listening to this segment. If you enjoyed it, leave us a rating or leave a voice message. We'll be happy to hear from you. This conversation took place years ago and both Sparkle and Joseph have grown a lot more to understand each other. The opinions said in this podcast do not at all reflect the beliefs of the brand, the speakers, or networks associated. This was shared as a progression about social equity between two undergraduates.